this time of year uh, let's see it's um, end of July getting close to August uh, teams are coming to an end travel balls coming to an end high school softballs about to begin uh, tryouts for what team you're going to play for all next summer happening and as an instructor in the business that I'm in I work with a lot of different families and you start hearing all the horror stories all the problems that they had during the season uh, most families have spent uh, shoot golly since last fall this time but mainly from February all the way up to a week ago playing with the team and had the ups and downs and uh, from my standpoint usually I just hear a lot of complaining all right for the most part a lot of excuses the number one excuse that I get and I call it an excuse because that's what it is is daddy ball all right I want to take this time right here on this video to explain to you my standpoint of daddy ball okay everybody wants to try to avoid daddy ball if you don't understand what daddy ball is um, golly man how do I describe it it's basically where a coach has a son on the team therefore he's a daddy and that son he's probably got a travel team um, golly it could be softball he's got a daughter on the team that's subpar all right they probably wouldn't make the team that they're actually playing on but you get the sacrifice of time the effort that's going into coaching and you know the coach ends up putting his daughter or his son at shortstop and they couldn't feel the ground ball to save their life they never come out of the game and then you get the parent whose son or daughter plays shortstop and they're sitting on the bench all the time uh, why are they sitting on the bench because of daddy ball all right that's why I call it an excuse my perception my opinion on this is you're never going to escape you're never going to get away from daddy ball okay that's how travel ball to in my mom in my mind even grows one daddy ball situation where somebody uses that excuse turns into them now putting together a new team having a tryout getting new players on that team and then they turn into the daddy ball they don't realize it because everybody that's sitting on the bench then at that point they're saying daddy ball but the one that's actually being the daddy ball doesn't know it so you see how silly the whole thing really is now the reason it's silly and the reason you're missing an opportunity if you use that excuse to teach your young player something very valuable is because let's say up until high school you've got the daddy ball excuse well then when you make the high school team you're going to have the booster club excuse all right the booster club is whoever's put more money into the program uh, their kid usually probably plays you start hearing that excuse well then you get off to college and you finally get you a little small scholarship or possibly even a medium-sized scholarship and now you're sitting on the bench once again well why aren't you playing that much well because so and so has got a bigger scholarship he's on full scholarship or she's on full scholarship and so that's why I'm not playing well, so now daddy's balls turned into booster club ball which now has turned into scholarship ball it doesn't even stop there if you're in baseball and then you go pro okay now you find yourself sitting on the bench because the kid that's in the position or the guy that's in the position playing the one that you're there for got a bigger contract than you did all right so now it's called contract ball all right so we're just graduating excuses at this point from daddy ball to booster club ball to scholarship ball and then the contract ball so the very fact that you ever think you're going to avoid this situation is it's, it's silly okay let's get into the real world which we call the real world even in business I've experienced it before um, you know I should get this account and represent this account and have the opportunity to make killer commissions and everything the only problem is this guy who's been with the company a little bit longer and gets paid a little bit more than I do he gets that account all right so now here I'm just screaming the fact that he's been there longer and gets paid more and I got screwed out of a deal that I should have gotten it's even happened with me before I've left the company on because of that all right so take this opportunity parents players to realize that you got to take a different angle on this whole issue you got to take an angle and this is a simple one man if you want to play shortstop you're on a team to play shortstop and the coach's son plays shortstop play a different position how hard is that all right especially if you're young if you play shortstop you can play third you can play second 
you can play outfield all you got to do is catch a fly ball and run a little faster and learn run a little further okay if you're batting fifth in the lineup okay do good at five they'll move you up to four okay if you're batting fourth then you're just stay there geez you're already there i'd lost my train of thought on that one geez the whole subject's just so crazy and it's so i hear it over and over when i finish this video by the time i leave this park the one i'm sitting at right now i'm going to hear a daddy ball story i promise you okay and i want anybody who watches this video to realize that there's a whole lesson here that you need to learn in regards to daddy ball daddy ball is a situation you ever find yourself even making that excuse change the variables okay change the variables till so it won't even affect you all right i'll take it back to that shortstop learn to play third okay now if the coach's best friend is helping him coach the team and his son's on the team also or his daughter's on the team also and they play third well don't go from short to third you're still in the mix of the things okay go to second play second base pitch catch okay do something different the other situation with the daddy ball thing is the daddy ball kid catches and you lose games over and over and over because pass the balls you won't put another catcher in because his son catches and now your team doesn't win any games because of daddy ball well that's silly okay be a good hitter be a good pitcher run a little bit harder try to win the game beyond making the excuse of daddy ball okay if you've watched this video just read into it a little further take a different angle on it do not use the excuse of daddy ball no matter how bad the situation is because you're just going to look silly all right it's just you're throwing out a big excuse there and as an adult you should know better and as a kid don't grow up that way don't make excuses excuses won't get you anywhere excuse is a reason to quit that's my definition of it the excuse gives me a reason to stop it gives me a reason to suck it gives me a reason and explanation on why i'm not getting to do what i want to do all right don't let that happen don't even develop that skill thank you